If you look at packaging waste today, already 70% of the packaging waste could be recyclable. But uh, the problem is wrong collection, a dirty waste, not all consumers are participating, and some small things have to be optimized. This is 70% of the packaging waste. And then we have approximately 10% of packaging, which we need because it gives exactly the, the application. It gives the safety for medical applications, for, for long shelf life products. And it will be very difficult to change this packaging because we need it. And the application might be more important than some discussion about end of life. And in between, we have approximately 20 to 30% of, of packaging where we can work up where we can improve the design for end of life, for better recycling. And this is our main target in CFLEX. We have to do really the hard job of, of reducing um, the variety of polymers and materials used for packaging, cutting down to some polyolefins and giving them the same functionality they had before with many different products. This is our challenging challenge in redesign and still keeping the good properties which allow packaging to bring many consumer products and food onto the market. The European Union or Commission gave the target circle economy. So we have this uh, target and we as an industry, this is our guideline. We have to try to support and realize solutions which are not available today. And this is the bridge we have to, to gap go for circular economy knowing that customers would prefer bioplastics and paper and this is a challenge to give the flexibility because nobody knows what will be the solution tomorrow we have a target we are working for but uh, the public expectation is a little bit different and this is a very complex topic to find solutions for mm -hmm.